Hi, I'm Josh and this is Kim. Uh, this is our second season of doing the Haunted House Reviews. In this little video, we're just going to be talking about the haunts we're going to be going to this year, or at least plan on going to. Not everything's 100% set. Um, we plan on doing the reviews a little bit like bigger and better this year. As you can tell, our Wave updated our set by quite a bit. Um, also, we're you know wearing jackets and stuff because it's a little bit chilly where we're at right now. But um, So I guess we'll just get into the places that we're going first. Um, I should also point out real quick, um, we'll talk about it maybe more a little later, we're doing a haunted house documentary and some of the haunted houses that we're reviewing are also in that documentary and I'll point which ones those are out as we talk about them. Okay, so this first one we actually just went to the other day, we are going to have the review up shortly after this video. It is 100 Acres Manor in Bethel Park, PA, it's close to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, our original plan was to go to Cheeseman. Fright Farm right. or whatever, and we got there and yeah. they're closed, which is our bad. We should have checked that and we didn't. Yeah, and if you saw our review last year of Cheeseman Fright Farm, we said we probably weren't going to go this year. We decided we will go this year again. We're going to go a little later in the year because people did comment and say that they thought we shouldn't be going on opening weekend, which I do want to point out that's not a valid criticism because if you're going to open and charge people full price especially, you should be ready for them. If you don't think you're quite ready, maybe you should be offering discounted prices and kind of do almost more of a trial run and announce that to people. But you shouldn't open and say you're a full running haunted house at full price and then use the excuse that it's your first weekend. Yeah. Um, a few of these haunted houses we also did reviews on last year. Only a couple though. We're trying to hit as many nude places as we can. Right. But the next review we have is for one we've been to. Yeah. And it's also the center of our documentary. It is right. Wells Township Haunted House in Brilliant, Ohio. Yes. If you watch reviews last year, I think that's the only one we gave a 10 to. I think so. The other yes. closest one was like Haunted Hoochie, which is like a 9 or 9.5. I don't remember the exact scores we gave them. Um, yes, they are the main part of our documentary, along with one of the smaller ones we have also in the documentary, which we are doing the following day, is Blood View. It's in right. Cuyahoga Falls. Yeah, that, yeah, we're going up to that one, that one's, that one's a pretty good one, usually. Yeah, that's one we wanted to go to last year and didn't get a chance to. Yeah, we've been there before, but we've never done a review on it. It's yes. been a couple of years. Then we met up with these people at this convention type yeah, thing. Yeah, Cinema Wasteland. Yeah, and got a hold of them a little bit, started talking about this documentary, and I'm like, yeah, this is one we definitely need to come to this year. Right. Um, the following one is also part of... The documentary. We're trying to do all these early-ish for the documentary. Yeah. Um, it is the schoolhouse and laboratory in Akron, Ohio. Right, which is another one we've been to before. It's been a few years, though. Um, but we again, we never did a review on it. I do want to point out for the ones we're doing reviews um, on the documentary, it, it, we're not biased to them, but we did pick these ones because they are somewhat of the better ones, I would say. Um, in our opinion. Yeah, in our, in our, yeah, in our opinion, I guess that would be right. I mean, they're kind of renowned is pretty good but I just want to say that they're not biased if they don't end up being good we would be honest you know it's nothing against the people but we do these also so the people that watch it that run the haunted houses can improve if they and just because it's in the documentary doesn't mean it's the best thing ever like we're the right. documentary is more just giving a behind the scenes of these haunted houses of the haunted house industry in, industry in general. Yeah, because I mean, originally we had planned to have a haunted house we never went to, but some things happened to them with the fire, and we weren't able to uh, make it up there. So, okay. The next one is one that we did a review on last year. It is Conneaut Ghost Lake. Yes. That one was a pretty um, high hit count. A lot of people really seem to be interested in that one, and it's usually, it's usually pretty good. At the very least, has a cool atmosphere. Um, the following one after that is the Haunted School of Terror. It is in East Liverpool. Maybe. Um, I'd say, I know it's close to West Township. They recommended it to us. But yeah, it's called the Haunted School of Terror. Like East Liverpool area, I guess. I if not East Liverpool. Yeah. Um, and then since we didn't get to this past time, the next one after that is Cheeseman Bright Farm. Which we are hoping to have a better experience this time. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better. I mean, people were saying that they, that they really like it. We go there every year. This has been going downhill. So hopefully this year they step up their game and impress us a bit more. Yeah, it's like tradition. So it's going to be sad if it's one that we end up not going to anymore. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's another place. It's kind of like um, Ghost Lake. Ghost Lake is usually pretty good, but it's almost more the atmosphere. Because it's just like a cool place to go to, I guess. Yes. And then 
super excited. We're going to travel to Michigan. Yeah. And we're going to go to Erebus. Yeah. Which is really exciting. Yeah, we've been wanting to go to it for a while. And it is a really pricey haunted house at, what, 28, 20, I believe? Yes. Um, that's, I mean, that's quite a bit for a haunted house, but it's one of those ones that has been on TV so many times that I assume the crowds are so crazy. So we're going to get there really early. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it's probably going to get a good review, but... Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I assume, but then again, sometimes these places tend to be overhyped. Um, they get more focus on little or haunts, and that's something um, I think that people should realize is just because it's on TV doesn't mean it is the best haunt. I mean, it's more than likely really good, but local haunts can be good too, even if you haven't heard about them. Yeah. Um, then we're, since we're going clear to Michigan, we're getting a hotel, staying up there and everything, we're going to find another one at least around Erebus to go to. We're thinking maybe Realm of Darkness. Yeah, that one's maybe. really pricey to do both the haunts yeah. there. It's like $30, and I don't know much yeah. about it, and that's a lot per person. Yeah, so we might try to find something else, but that's not set in stone yet. Right. That's still towards the end of the month, so mm -hmm. we have time to figure that out. Um, the next one after that is Hauntville. It is in Parma? Um, that one's either in Parma or Elyria. It's yes, one, one of, of the two. two. It's really close to Cleveland. Because we yeah, have two that are both really suburbs. close to Cleveland. And I'm pretty sure Hauntville is ran by the same people that do Spooky Ranch, which we have been to before. Um, it was pretty good. We were going to do that again this year. It's still We still have one open weekend, so... So, I mean, that might happen. Yeah, that's but. on our list of possible places. Yes. Uh, then the Scare House in Pittsburgh is after that, which mm -hmm. we went to a couple years ago. Um... It was yeah, it was like three or four years ago. Um, when, we, when we went, they were not, they had not been around for that long. The it was really, really elaborately decorated. But the only yeah. problem was, is it wasn't scary. No, it was I don't just, think we got scared at all. But it was something that was really pretty to just walk through and look at. All right, so even if the scare is really low, I mean, it was really cool. Then Halloween, the thirty first, is a day that we still have open. Except we have a list of a few places that we're still considering. So that date's still open for discussion. Yeah. Then after that is the Fear Experience, which is the one that's either in Parma or Elyria, mixed with Hauntville. Yeah, that it one is, be Fear Experience is Parma. Okay, so an Elyria for Hauntville. Okay. Yeah, Fear Experience is one that's ran by um, pretty young people, I believe. Yeah. So that's an interesting one. It's one that we've kind of been putting off for that reason for a while, but... Right, well, not necessarily for that reason, but they're new, and like, I've heard really mixed things, but each year um, from other places, I see that they're getting better and better. So I was like, well, you know, I want to try that one out this year and, you know, see what we think of it. Because we're not always trying to find the best ones to go to for these things. You know, we want to give others a shot. Mm -hmm. Then we also have two Sundays, which the dates yes. aren't exactly decided yet. One of them is Blood Moon Farm, which we did last year, right. but it was Canfield, Canfield Scaregrounds. Grounds. They're still kind of going under that, but Blood Moon Farm is kind of their new, I guess, moniker, is what you call it. Yeah. So that's kind of what they're doing there. And then our other one, which is the last one in our documentary which we will figure out for a certain Sunday, is the Factory of Terror. Yes. Um, more than likely, yeah, the Factory of Terror is a documentary, more than likely one of those. Um, another one, actually another one that I do want to go to, which we have not mentioned, um, it's in, I know this one's in East Liverpool, it's the JC's Haunted House. Because um, that one, they're usually really good. It's, it's more along the lines of something like Wells Township, where... It's not necessarily a guided tour, but it's not like a traditional haunted house. Yeah. Like, they take you into rooms and kind of, like, just mess with you. Yeah. So that'll be an interesting one. I do hope to get to that one this year. Yes. Um, those are all the ones we have decided. Again, these could all change at some point, depending right. on... Sometimes things happen and, like, places are closed down, so we end up going to another place, or we just can't make it to somewhere. Yes. But that right now is where we plan on going to. Um, that's pretty much all we really need to say for this video. Um, so we, we're, might, we're, we're gonna try to work with some of the haunts and maybe get some footage um, from them as well if we have the time to do that. No promises there, but I would like to do that with some of them. So if we post this video on your page and it's something you're interested in, you can let me know, message me. Um, and then the other thing, the last thing I want to talk about is that Haunted House documentary that will be released either when you see this video or shortly after. I plan on around October, what's the first week of October? October 4th, 3rd? Mm -hmm. Around October 3rd or October 4th is when it's going to be online and Vimeo On Demand. I mean, it's going to be a fairly long documentary. Um, and we've put a lot of time and hard work into it, and I think it's turning out pretty good. So hopefully you choose to watch that and watch our reviews. Mm -hmm. If it, if haunted houses are something you're interested in, you want yeah. to see the behind the scenes, it's definitely Yeah, because I mean, we're out. going to be covering, yeah, I mean, pretty much everything from, um, slight behind the scenes so you can see, like, 
they talk somewhat about, about their family life kind of thing like that and how it affects that. But a lot of it's like, you know, like how they go from set design, makeup, just pretty much every aspect you can think of a haunted house. We wanted to show, to show that it's more than just, um, you know, they don't just open up on October, you know, on the 1st of October and people just walk in there to get a scare, you know I mean? This is like an art form that these people are like this huge family, like the entire haunted house industry is like this huge networking family and it's really kind of amazing. Yeah. So... If you're into that at all, which even if you're not into haunted houses that much, just seeing the passion that these people do would really give you a new look on it, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, and hopefully you watch the rest of our videos.